skadoosh. We got ourselves March of the Machine, the Aftermath Epilogue Boosters. What is this all about? Let's get to cracking, Captain. How's everyone doing? Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming, and we are cracking this open. I have no idea what to expect out of this. Are there even commons in this set? I'm sure there are, right? But all I've seen is collect... Uh, I've only opened the collector box product. I've seen collector box openings. I have no clue what to expect out of one of these, man. This is uh, pretty pretty cool. It's exciting. I like not knowing everything. I, I like being like a novice going into this. I get I run a channel, but man, it, I have a lot of insight <laughs> after the fact. But I like just being like like, like a kid in the like a, like a kid in the card shop, walking in and you know I maybe I, maybe I got a little insight from like my scry or my inquest magazine. Who remembers those? And uh, I just grab a pack and I, and I crack around open it and see what's inside, man. You know, here we go. May contain these cards. Uh, one through a hundred includes a combination of one to three cards of rarity or higher. Oh, okay. A whole lot of a uh, whole lot of stuff on the back here. Two to four uncommon cards. So there's no commons. Mythic in one percent of booster. Mythic. Oh, traditional foil showcase. Wow. So that's like the real limited stuff. Okay. Good to know. Big shout outs. Ground Zero up in Strongsville, Ohio. Over in the area, check them out. Someone uh, tell me what that code does right there. There you go. Discover the coolest cards. Whatever that's about. All right, maybe they don't have any commons in this set. Reckless Handling. Yeah, maybe there are none. Wow, Rocco. Hello, Rocco. All right, we got Streff Boy. <laughs> Streff Boy. Street Boy. All right, then to some foil action. And the old Diification. Um, you know, I don't really consider it Diification. I consider it something else, but... All right, anyway, you know. If you, if you read that word really quick... <laughs> he's open. He's open like butter, by the way. Uh, Coligan's Warmonger. There you go. Cosmic Rebirth. Bada bang. Tazri. Tazri showing up. I don't. I don't think there's any serial numbered cards in this set. I don't believe so. So uh, there's that. I guess. Gold Forge Thopteryx. Pretty cool name. Dinosaur Thopter and Reckless Handling. Neat. Oh, all right. Followed by the Elemental. So uh, we got one rare in that pack. Yeah, one rare in that pack. Okay. I guess what? That's it. All right? Get one rare. Okay. Neato. So uh what are you gonna be purchasing? Um <laughs> now that we know there's no commons, at least for so far from my understanding. Uh there's just uncommons. Uh for a hundred cards, I guess they just they, they yeah, they cut the fat, really, right? Now here we forged and furies our first mythic. Hot diggity dogs. There we go. Core artificer. Get to uh, throw around some free equipment cards at a uh, certain point in the game. So that's our first Mythic. All right. And then we got Reckless Handling, followed by Tolarian Contempt. Beautiful art on that one. I really like it. Incubator. Okay, guys. Not so bad. Not so bad. We got a foil pile. Okay. And this can go over here. Rocking and rolling. So uh, what are your thoughts on a product like this? I got to hear it. What are your thoughts on a product with no commons? Does that make is it does that make sense? Should should they not have done that? Should we be seeing some commons in here? No? Ayara's Oath Sworn? I think that's the first time I've seen that one. There's Cosmic Rebirth. Pretty cool. Beautiful foiling. And open the way in the retro frame. That looks silly. Silly good. Silly's good in this in this case. Open the way. Get a load of that cool art though. That is fancy. Alright. And Kraken Token for the back. So pretty neat seeing that. Keeping a little bit of sorting going on here. Yeah, big big shout out to Ground Zero in Strongsville, man, for allowing me to crack these a little early. Oh, that's pretty neat of them. And uh, you definitely would like the shop if you ever go in there. We got Moon's Legacy, Copper Coat Vanguard. Honestly, um, I don't have a problem with this. And you know what? Call me crazy. I hope they do more of this in the future. Call me crazy. Um, I hope there's like little mini subsets to go along with it. You know, like, I mean, that's what this is. It's a little subset, but they got rid of the common stuff, you know? So then my question almost is, are the common cards uncommon? <laughs> oh, wait, are the, are the uncommons common and the rares are uncommons then? And the mythics are rare? Like how, how, <laughs> I mean, when you break it down, that's kind of how it, like how it seems almost, you know? 
Um, okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Royal Funeral. But for a smaller set, yeah, I mean, you're going to pull a lot of the cards out really quick. Blot Out and Gold Forged Thopteryx. Pretty neat. Food. All right. So, like, you are guaranteed a rare. Yeah, this is, you know what this reminds me a lot of? I mean, I've said it in other videos, but like standard showdown or, or prize promo packs you get at your local game store. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> you know, only there's three cards in there and like a code, you know, for arena. Um, but with these, you know, there's, there's what, five cards? There's training grounds, hot dogs. Good seeing that. Couldn't believe they got the old reprint there, but uh, sure did, man. Very nice, very powerful card. Harnessed, harness boy with the snub horn, a little snubby. And there, our second mythic. Gotta give a shout out to our second mythic. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, Sam Oot. Very small little set here. Very small little set. All right, and we got Baron and Campus Renovation. What, Dranith Ruins? And Supreme Boy, that's our uh, foil. Not bad, niv -Miz it's Supreme Foiling. We'll take it. Put that up there. And the Culligan Warmonger to close it out. Where's this Phyrexian Hydra at? Who makes those? Who makes the Phyrexian Hydras? I'm sure it's on a card. Uh, black and green. It's in a black and green card. All right. Let's keep an eye out for it. Maybe I just didn't pull it yet. I don't know. There we go. A little off-center on that guy. Chalarian Contempt. Spark Rupture. Pretty fun. And this guy. Sure. There you go. Animus Might. Copper Coat Vanguard. Pretty slick looking. Nice, nice. And that's all she wrote. Oh, it's, it's so quick. It's like over before you know it. <laughs> that's what she said. There we go. And we got ourselves called a warmonger. Cosmic Rebirth with Nissa, Resurgent Animist. That is beautiful. Another mythic for us. Put that bell back here so it's nice and cozy, ready to be smacked. There we go. Solarian Contempt, cool. So we got three mythics so far out of the box. And filter out. There you have it. Pretty cool. All right, moving on up. How many packs are in there? 24? 18? What, what's going on? I didn't even do a count on that. Animus, but we're open two of these boxes just to get a good idea. Good feel of the set. Herbwork Scavengers, sure. And there's Gold Forge Thopter Boy with Copper Coat Vanguard. So as we can tell already, some cards are going to be pretty rare inside of here. But if you go over to your collector box, you're almost guaranteed one of those cards. That's like a 1%. I think you may be guaranteed one or two of them. Honor City Upheaval, Campus Renovation. But that's how they sell product, you know. Danitha. There you go. The old Benalia's Light. Gorgeous. Under City Upheaval. The old Upheaval. All right. And Death Rattle Oni. Have not seen... Uh, I don't think you can get... I don't think you can pull any halo foils out of these. If you can, we have not done so yet. Put it that way. I didn't see anything on the packaging. I, was, I mean, I went over it pretty quickly. Now, Harry's Resolve. Super, super duper. Elam Immersion. That's cool. And the old Feast of the Victorious Deed. So in that last slot, that would be like where maybe a really rare card could be hiding. I'm, I'm assuming. Passability. All right, Markov, Baron, Caprico, Vanguard. Here we go. Plarg and Nasari showing on up on the doorstep. With Karn, Legacy, Reforged. Beautiful. Look at that big old stamp on there. That big old symbol. Looking cool. So a mythic uh, foil Karn. So far, that's the fourth Karn I've opened. Out of two products. Out of two boxes. Two collector and uh, one of the and one of these. So that's nuts. Out of just three products. Wow. Keeping it going. The aftermath. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Tolarian contempt. The warmonger. Metropolis. All right. So yeah. Um, how do you feel about this product? How do I? Feel? I'll tell you how I feel while you tell me how you feel. Um. So. Whoop. I want this one up here. There we go. So, um, there's, I mean, what's, what's there not, what's there to be said that hasn't been said already? There's fewer cards. There, uh, the, the rarity is boosted up. You know, they, they cut off the fat. 
you get less cards for I think it's I think it's a little cheaper, isn't it? Maybe a tiny bit cheaper. Possibly. I think it might be a tiny bit cheaper. There's campus renovation. And rebirth. I think it's just a teensy weensy bit cheaper. Or it might be the same price for a box. I haven't looked into prices on this yet. Someone let me know. Where are the prices at for this? Not a clue, man. Rebuild the city. And Death Rattle Oni yet again in the foil. And Amethyst. Like saying that. Anima, anima, animus. Animus. The spell costs two is cast. If a target is a legendary creature you control, a target creature you control, deals damage to its power, a target creature plays a you don't control. Pretty cool. So you could pay essentially one for that. And a good day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll go through these rather quickly. There's no doubt about it. Definitely feels more sports card like, you know, because you're getting fewer cards. Um, but it's essentially, more bang for your buck, maybe. Sarkhan Soul of Flame. Because, I mean, let's face it, a lot of commons, they're worth nothing, man. Another mythic. Uh, they're worth nothing. Reckless Handling and the old Drifter. There we go. A showcase Drifter showed up in that slot. That's kind of neat. So, yeah, let's think of it that way, you know. Very interesting. Undercity Upheaval and Renovation. Uh, Leyline Immersion. Immer immersion. Okay. With Cosmic Rebirth. Blot out. So, yeah, um, I guess from my understanding here, um, no serial numbered cards exist in the set. And uh, maybe they do. I don't know. I still do not know about that, but I don't believe they do. Copper Coat Vanguard, Tolarian Contempt, Sigarda, Font of Blessings. And if they did take away, you know, the uh, serial numbered cards, is it just for this one this one set? Because it's a specialty set. I don't know. Campus Renovation. Cool, cool. I know the comments probably lit up right now. There are serial numbered cards in the set. There are no serial card numbers in the <laughs> one, of, one of the two ways. I'm really tempted to just go on TCG Player and find out, but I, I don't want to do it yet. <laughs> I just don't want to do it yet. Uh, maybe like, like the element of surprise. There we go. Kiora, Sovereign of the Deep. Looking mighty gorgeous there. Mighty, mighty gorgeous. Another mythic. We'll take it. And then we got ourselves Mr. Markov Baron. And another Markov Baron. Different style here. Okay. So our final three packs. Keep them close. Here we get. Three packs to go. What are we going to get? Coligan, Warmonger. And the Baron again. Arnie, Metal Bro. What up? Followed by Blot Out and Amethyst Might in the Retro Frame Foil. Looking adorable. That is a very hot to trot looking card. We'll take it. Two packs. Cosmic Rebirth. Harness Stunubhorn. Oh, I want to put this foil over here. We are doing some sorting today. <laughs> I read it again. Dedication. Every time I read it, that's what I read. Training grounds and foil. That's pretty cool. Not sure if it's going to be bell worthy in two weeks, but right now it's pretty bell worthy. Pretty cool. Reckless handling. Okay. Final pack to crack. Can we get a sweet showcase foil mythic? Maybe. Maybe not. Another snub horn. Got those for days. And PNLR showing up on the doorstep. Beautiful. Well, we got something special back here. Extended art something. Warmonger and Spark Rupture. I have not seen that one yet. That looks pretty hot to trot. Beautiful. Spark Rupture to close it out. And as about to draw a card, each planeswalker with one or more loyalty counters on it loses all abilities and is a creature with power and toughness. Each equals the number of loyalty counters on it. Wow. You just nerf them all out. That's kind of a cool card. All right, well, hey, thanks for tuning into this one. This was a short video, but, uh, yeah, it's a well, eh, 15 minutes kind of average. I still have the, uh, we're still going to do the bundle along with one collector box together and then one more epilogue box. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And if there are standard showdown or uh, prize promo packs or whatever, uh, then, yeah, I'm going to do those also. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Say something kind for someone.